the 2023 Ford Maverick Tremor is the latest pickup brand to get a geologically named off-road option, rounding out the range. The compact pickup joins the F-Series Super Duty, Ranger and F-150 with the Tremor upgrade, which aims to increase its ground lapping capabilities. The Tremor has unique front and rear lights, a tow hook at the front, and also has a factory 1-inch lift for better off-road capability. Unique 17-inch wheels on all-terrain tires and suspension, the wheels are excellent, a 5-spoke twin design with one orange, fully independent segment that both increase ground clearance by 1 inch to 9.4 inches. Some of the drawbacks of the Tremor package include the compromise of towing and transport. Its 1,200-pound payload rating is 300 lower than any other Mavericks, even front-wheel drive hybrids. Most all-wheel drive models can tow up to 4,000 pounds with the 4K tow package, but Ford doesn't provide it on the Tremor, so it's limited to 2,000 pounds. Prices start at $31,665 for the XLTI test, which features a unique Tremor fabric upholstery, and $35,165 for the Lariat, which has ActiveX synthetic leather and unlocks available features like satellite radio and adaptive cruise control.
In our testing, the performance of the Tremor-equipped Maverick XLT proved to be essentially identical to the 2022 Turbo 4 and off-road package FX4 and Bronco Sport Badlands models. The XLT Tremor sprints to 60 miles per hour in 6.0 seconds, only 0.1 second behind its sibling. The Tremor stops 171 feet of 70 miles per hour is one foot shorter than the Maverick FX4. Under the hood sits a 250 horse 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine mated to an 8 speed automatic that produces 250 horses and adds a good mix of functional and aesthetic enhancements. This is the only machine available in Maverick Tremor. The interior is well done, and like all Tremors, there are bronze finishes everywhere and the Tremor is embroidered on the seats. Gauges can be configured for driver info controlled from the steering wheel. High on the dashboard is a simple but well-functioning 8-inch touchscreen. You run all audio, Bluetooth, apps, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. The Maverick also has more passenger space than expected, with comfortable rear seats for most adults, though we wish there was HVAC ventilation in the rear. The center console houses a round gear shift knob and buttons for drive modes, traction control, and all-wheel drive settings. If you're a fan of cubby holes, they are everywhere in this vehicle and the center console has a great place to put your phone where you can see it while driving. Rear seat space is better than one would expect in a small truck. Rear seat passengers get a USB port and power outlet. The rear seats fold down and have storage underneath for valuables. <laughs> 